the 12th year I have my sample of my final drawing uh, which stemmed from the two designs which I have and I would like to move to the next stage of the pet which is going to be your elevation so if we look at the entire structure the floor plan the pet instruction page requests that you need to draw two elevations of which the first elevation must be the front part which is your entrance to your building so that must be the one elevation and another elevation must be any elevation from any side could be the right could be the left but you first need to determine the, the primary elevation which is the front part of your building your media center and I have discovered that that is my front door so this year is going to be my front part of my building which is going to be my be my primary elevation and then I'm going to select this side as the secondary elevation reason being that I'm going to choose something that does not have a lot of detail not a lot of windows if I do this side here I find that I have a lot of small windows which I need to draw and a door and another window so you can choose a side which has less work but first your primary must be there to be able to show the front entrance so what I'm going to do I'm going to first go to my blank sheet of paper and I'm going to create two platforms of which I'm going to have my two elevations on and that's going to serve as my natural ground level so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my middle of my page which I have right here and I'm going to draw a line across my page from border to border and I'm going to assume that there are borders around this page and you should have borders around all your pages that's the first natural ground level for the primary elevation and then I'm going to do another one here which will serve as my secondary elevation so my first and my second one right so that's going to be right there now I'm going to take my page which I have here and I'm going to fold that sort of in half like that so that I can exactly see where every single item has been placed and I can mark it onto my first one which I have there so I can actually tie my page down like that for a moment and then I'm going to take my set square and I'm going to bring this down which is going to be my end of my walkway and the end of my walkway here as well then I'm going to have my walls which would be here and my wall that would be there so that's going to be my wall and this is going to be my walkway and then further back you're also going to find that if those two are my walkways I have another piece here which is going to be that over there so I have to put that in as well so I'm going to keep this like that there tie it down and then I'm going to bring my end of my wall down making sure that you keep this in line and the end of my walkway on this side as well and then you may remove this because you have all your positions in order I am now going to project these up from the natural ground level I'm going to have a height of four and a half meters and this is a scale of one is to 100 so four and a half meters will be 45 on my normal ruler and then I'm going to add my fascia board which is 200 which is two millimeters and then I'm going to add my roof afterwards let me quickly do that <laughs>
Now I'm going to add my roof. And if I take my floor plan again and I match it, line it up, that's lined up, that's my, my walk away. You will see that my roof has this part here, with my apex there. But the angle of this roof is at a 30 degrees, or you can make it 25 degrees. I'm going to choose 30 degrees because it's easy with my set square that I could use. But you can use 20 degrees, 25 degrees, but then you have to use a protractor should you use any other degrees. But to make it easier, I will stick to 30 degrees. So I'm going to do my roof. So this triangular part will be here. And then at the back, I'm going to have this part here that runs till here and then it slants in. So you will see that being brought into my drawing as well. learners there is my superstructure all I'm going to do now is add my windows in those respective walls that we have it so if you look at that um, and we line it up if I do that lining up here I'm going to find that there's going to be a window here there's going to be two doors so I need to project that up so I'm going to Fix this on here. going to be my primary elevation so I'm going to go and do exactly with one of my sides which I've chosen in this case I go back to my plan and I want to turn my plan on its side like that and then project all these points down so that I can have my walls my walkway as well as all my windows and my doors included in the walls that I will be presenting in my side elevation. Let's do that now. <laughs> 